Hey, Jono here. Thank you for joining me for Siren Blood Curse. The uh, third and pretty sure it's the final game in the Forbidden Siren series. Also known as Siren series. I can't remember if Forbidden Siren 2 was ever called Siren 2. But anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, this game, this is a PS3 game, which, which I'm looking forward to. The other two were PS2 ones. So I'll be interested in seeing the improved graphic quality, uh, as well as it's, I think, episode based. I had to download it as about a dozen episodes. I don't know how that works in terms of the story unfolding. The previous two games sort of jumped all over the show in terms of time and characters. So I don't know if this is just linear or if they're going to do the same thing. We'll have to find out, of course. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe 30 minute episodes, I'm not too sure, I might try to hold doing X amount of missions, uh, that's the problem of, with Siren, and, well, Forbidden Siren, is, I, I can't, can't really say, you'll just, obviously you'll be able to look at how long this episode goes for, and you'll know, but I won't, until it's done, so anyway, I'm gonna jump into the options, and then we'll get started. Alright, so I guess there are 12 episodes. Oh, and I can pick any one. Oh, I'll start with episode one. Alright, episode one, chapter one. Might be just a cutscene based on the little camera icon. Have a look. Just now, it felt like everything shook for a second. What are they doing? I thought this was an abandoned village. Who are those people? I love shaky cam. Hard to make out what the hell's going on. That guy's a deep shit. We gotta go cops. I don't have any reason. Right now it's in a camera mode? I thought it was in camera mode to begin with. God, I can't watch this anymore. I guess it's night vision mode or something. Hey. Is she the actress that you guys hired? Murdered her like that! Goddamn psychos! Fuck! Fuck! Why didn't you just pick your head up? You stopped to swear. Alright, how right? A high school student visiting the site on the same day as a TV crew finds himself haplessly entangled in the terrifying ordeal unfolding in the village. Help! Unfold. A woman got stabbed! Uh, Toskete! He took a Shinda! When you need them. The Sacred Revelations add to archive. Video camera edited to archive. Howard writes student ID added to archive. Uh, 
All right, escape from the police officer. Oh, okay. Thought we were holding out to find a police officer. Do I press angle? Does this? Okay. What the hell? Oh, that's that's dark. Um, let me just see about that. Yeah, that's the brightest I can make make it. Hopefully that's not too, too dark. Yeah, that's a real, real shame. Okay, so... We've got directional buttons. Oop. Flashlight on, okay. <laughs> Alright. Hey, wait, what are you? What are you? Oh, shit! I can see why we have to run away from it. No way. Ow, okay. Just dead in. Psyche bottle. Ah, okay. Uh, a weapon. Pick up. Pick up. Okay. Ah, damn I'm... Okay, I was hoping it would be his gun. So he's get it to the archive. Ouch. Ah, okay. Maybe... I don't know how many more times I can get shot. Ouch. Uh... So the bottle, okay. Out. Now I'm dead. Okay. No way. Skip the police officer and reach the house. Other things. Uh, is that sake bottle here again? I don't know if I need to pick up the archive again. Oh, I can just punch him. What do I do with that? I'm shaking the controller? Oh, that's fucking annoying. Wait, what's that prompt? Okay, already found, right. Um, well, I can't even see where the hell I should try and go. This is a part, okay. Who's that? Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Find a place to hide. Near. Yeah. Guys, a lot happening at once, sort of thing. Doors locked from the other side. Hide. Okay. Okay. Is that the police officer or is that the dude who. Kind of. Well, it looks like he knows exactly where I am. Oh, it's someone else. Okay. Alright, so. Interesting how it shows my camera and his at the same time. It's somewhat useful. Okay. Um, let's wait for him to go a little farther away. All right. Sneaking the house through the window. And the checkpoint. Nice. Does he know I'm in here? He's firing at something. Just keep an eye out for archives first. <laughs> Unlock door. I don't think I will. Sounds like he's reloading. Pick up Saki bottle. Okay. 
I can hide in there. Very fair, I'm gonna miss some of these prompts too. Okay. Brace door, interesting. Find a place to hide inside the house. Okay, but first I just wanna. Okay. This cheap doorknob is jammed. Quietly sneak past the police officer. I don't know where he is though. He sounds like he's still outside. Ah. So I guess when he goes the other way, I don't know how to sneak. I don't open this up. Go away, buddy. Go away. Okay. Can I leave? Uh, Alright. Or is he gonna... Because now seems like a good time to do that. If I'm meant to go back to where... I guess it depends where he's... Yeah, actually... He might open that up. And we're going to sneak out this way. Hope that's the case, otherwise that's the perfect window to like get out of here. Alright, go away officer. That's it. Yeah, step out the back door, okay. This is my version of sneaking. Okay, now... Checkpoint, alright. Switch to shovel. That seems better. Okay. Is it Go down. Okay, I guess I was meant to do that. I was just looking to see if there was an archive or anything like that. Holy shit! Holy shit! Hey, what he landed on? The car? Shit. Mission accomplished. Okay, cool. I know mommy's scary. But don't cry, honey. And why are you still wearing those glasses I gave you? Who keeps presents from their ex-wife? God, get rid of them already! Hey, cut it out! Hey, hey, the, hey! The glasses! What's wrong with you that I've got? We just saw a goddamn murder and you're bickering over stupid shit! <laughs> a nurse? Is this Silent Hill? Oh, he's got like a bit of wood in him. I guess he fell on a tree. Oh, 
Okay. TV episode proposal added to archive. Melissa Gale's cell phone added to archive. Uh, let's, can we skip that? I don't want to see what's in the next episode. Wait. Well, that was all of episode one. I see, a trailer, okay. So chapters one and three were just cutscenes and okay. Well. Select chapter, oh, I can't scroll. It'd be nice to see how many there are because I don't know whether to just call that an episode in each each episode be an episode or if there's going to be like 10 missions in one because that's going to be rather short uh we might as well do one more this is just the cutscene but yeah we have a look some joke for TV you never know what those idiots are gonna come up with Bella Melissa Sam Monroe's faculty ID added to archive. Search for the others. This really isn't funny. Break into the mining office. Okay. Oh, there's a map. Right. And a compass. That could be kind of useful. This way is too dangerous. Based on what? Okay, okay, I'm trying to turn around. You look like you're trying to fly over. Yep, we go. Coming one? That's not good. Alert system. When you approach an enemy, an audio signal and vibration will alert you to their presence. Proceed with caution to avoid being spotted. What's wrong with this place? Um, just looking for items, by like archives. So yeah, alright. Circles crouched, that's a good one. Staying quiet, you can soften the sounds of your footsteps by crouching down, making it easier to pass by Shibito undetected. Stick to the shadows and find a safe route around the Shibito. I have to make it even dark now. Uh, camera, could you... Alright. Off we go. Find a weapon. Gladly. Press X near and I'm gonna pick it up. Okay. Yoink. Some weapons cannot be used by certain characters, they will not even be able to pick them up. 
Fighting a Shibito unarmed is a good way to get yourself killed. If you want, run into one, quickly find a weapon to defend yourself. Oh my god. You can attack by pressing buttons. Hold buttons to initiate a more powerful attack. If you manage to surprise attack a Shibito, you can deal a lot more damage. Crouch to sneak up on the Shibito and then attack to knock her out. Don't you move, girly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pansicle. That's kind of cool. I wonder if that one will regain consciousness. Because you can never truly kill a Shibito. Alright, well. That's something to read? Okay. Really? Nothing in here? Um, okay. Where can I go into here? No. You can break rusty locks by striking them a few times with a weapon. Cool. Uh, okay, I'm hitting it. Cool. I didn't realize it would be a cutscene. I was just exploring. Oh! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Fine. What? Uh, are you all right? You. You're one of them. Wait. <laughs> Why? Oh, Poor Bisha. Can you walk? It's dangerous by yourself. Let me take I'm you fine. somewhere safe. I was just going to go straight into another mission. Escape with Amana. You two have been given a very special gift. Sight jacking is a special power allowing you to see through the eyes of Shibito and other people. It's also an important way to discover hints on how to proceed through the game. Follow the instructions given in the lower right to lock on to Amana's view. L2. L1R1 is auto search. Okay. Lock current view. Release your current sight jack lock with L2 and try sight jacking and locking on to Amana's view. You can move while sight jacking someone's view. To leave sight jacking mode at any time, press a button. There are many useful sight jacking features. For more detailed information, press select and choose out. Okay. I kind of like it how it keeps keeps the uh, Shibito. It, it, it keeps both views. Mm. I don't know if I need to be doing this or not. Need a weapon. Is there somewhere to crawl? No. Please follow me. Ah, good job, Amara. Hopefully the AI is better than in the previous games. Uh. 
Every now and then they would just be a little dopey. Are you hurt? Find a place to hide. Okay. I'm just gonna get the option to leave now. That's gonna say, like, I wonder if it's truly gone. Yeah, we're in the ocean, it's like. Press select to open the main menu and see your location on the map. That's nice, it actually shows where you are. And it has much nicer layout of what things are. Like, oh, I need to go to the rice shop, there it is, yay! The other game had far more fiddly uh, sort of menu. So we need to get to the road. Okay, and everything's already labelled, I wasn't sure if it came up when we weren't. Ah, okay, and the, what looks like a die is escape out the back entrance, so, cool. I don't have a flashlight. Now if only it showed archives, then I wouldn't even need to play the game. Must get moving. Okay. Well, then it has to do so. Can you get up? Thank you. Anything to read or pick up? You can enter first person perspective by holding down R2. You can zoom in and out depending on how far it's pressed down. You can also press R3 button to switch between first and third person perspectives. Once you spot the sign, head inside the noodle shop and check around the second floor. But I also just want to look around. Goodies! Okay, so, oh, there's a dude right there. Uh, uh, okay. Yep. Uh, okay, game, thank you. Oh god. This I don't like. The six axis nonsense, I do not like. Am I even looking at if there's a way to turn that off. For God's sake! Stop fucking me. Wait, this ain't a prompt. There! Yeah. Oh my God, you're not gonna fucking stun. There we go. Yeah, fuck off. All I wanted was to look around. Look at this cat. So he's nang there. Can't even shut that. Don't know if I need to go into sight jack mode or if it's um just there to remind me. Saki bottle? No. Beer bottle? No. No, 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 no. In certain places, action commands such as knocks over the sign. Ugh. In certain places, action commands such as X knock over sign will appear. So eject the nearby Shibito and wait until you see they blow the sign, then knock it over. Okay. Well, 
might be this guy. Maybe. Alright. I mean, I, I like it too how on the main camera you can kind of see roughly where they are. But I don't know which one I'm meant to be holding out for. Probably this guy, which I knocked out. So I'm kind of like, well, could I just push the sign over and get on with this? I mean, he's already knocked out. Uh, uh, let's do it. He'll probably wake up now. Yeah, I guess we're going here. here. Yes, I know, you're right there. Well, I don't care if I encounter anyone because I have a frying pan. And near the Shibito near the graveyard in a trap. We're almost there, but we must do something about it. Perhaps we can set right. a trap. If you find a hunting trap or signal flare, you can use them with the sub commands. Press a directional button. If you use sub command near one, you can just. Now I get why you have to use the directional button twice, which is good, because you don't want to press the wrong one. So I'll press up for flashlight, and it's actually up the set trap, and you immediately do it. You can attract a Shibito's attention by yelling. This can be useful for drawing Shibito away from other people. Press the directional button to yell, basically. Hello? Right here. Now step in it. Good. Yeah, have a frying pan. Yeah, I don't really care about that. I mean, unless I was meant to knock him out. I could have snuck up on him and done that anyway. Alright, mission accomplished. So it's probably going to jump to the next mission, but I would like to... We're going to call that an episode. And we're going to look at the archives we've gathered. Okay. Oh. Cool, so it looks like we haven't, well, unless we missed number 8 beyond, but, we'd have this story, and, um, weapon, anyway, the sacred revelations, the sacred illustrated text is said to have existed from the time of the mana religion's founding, however the original work has long since been lost. This version is a recompilation, hand produced by later followers of the faith. The Mana religion's unique portrayal of the final salvation is drawn in a very distinctive style. Okay. Leave the camera recording by mistake. A professional grade digital video camera, property of cable station paranormal TV. This high quality camera combines crisp, clear resolution and faithful colour reproduction with the ruggedness to withstand even the most extreme outdoor conditions. It's even said to be so sturdy that it could survive being used as a weapon after going got tough. The latest progressive CCD technology has been included, allowing reasonable filming quality even in low light conditions. Such a weird selling point. This camera's so robust you could bludgeon someone with it. Hey, what do you mean, crackpot show? We're the number one syndicated show in the Monday 1 a.m. time slot. We got like 10 people watching. <laughs> nah, I'm serious. But Don't I... try to change the subject. Why would you ever bring Bella along on an assignment? Just be so stupid. The producer promised it wouldn't be dangerous. 
Everything was decided last minute, and I didn't have time to find a sitter. So, I told the producer that I'll only go if I could bring Bella along. Why do you sound so surprised? I left a message on your cell about it. You said you were going on vacation, not an assignment. They told me they found a third-rate scientist for the ship, but they didn't expect it to be you. Why didn't you just leave Bella with your precious mother? She's lost her mind letting you bring her here. She passed away three months ago. Sorry I didn't tell you, but she asked me not to. She told you not to tell me? Ugh, some things never change, do they? You always did everything she said. Do you even have a mind of your own? I can't believe you're still letting her control you even after she's dead. You're pathetic. Don't talk about her like that. It's not like I knew you were going to be here either. I mean, had I known it... Bella, quit chewing your nails. How many times have I told you to stop that? <laughs> Soul, let's go. We'll do the shoot without him. He's completely useless anyway. Hey, Melissa, wait up. Riveting. Oh, yes, the old IDs. All right. School, Howard, birth, death, and a blog. Official police agency notepad for Suji. Issued April 1st. Dear Mr. Policeman, my name is C.G. Funayama and I am in the first grade. Thank you for being a policeman on rainy days, windy days, snowy days and thundery days. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman just like you. Me and my pig, Hanako, will protect the peace. Okay, I actually think there's more here. Ah, next page, yes. Page 1. A sacred ceremony was held, but a thief appeared, stealing the sacrifice away. Page 2. The Lord of the Gods was angry, and a mighty roar shook the earth. There we go. Paranormal TV channel 3333, STEM programming, uh, program proposal form. Total of program encounters, episode is Hanuda Lost. A Tale of Human Sacrifice, Produce, Direct, Camera, Crew, Production, Documentary, Audience Mails, 2030s, Show Description, Encounters, Investigates the Strange and the Supernatural Phenomena that Inhabit Our World. Program Length, 28 Minutes, Budget $20,000. Staff Profile, Adam, Adam, Last Name, Girl, First Name, Melissa, Blah, 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 Relevant Work History, Withstone College, Newspaper, Grey Bolt County Times, Fantastic Pets! A native of Greybolt County, a native of Greybolt County, Melissa Gale has over 15 years of print and broadcast news experience in addition to an MA in journalism from the prestigious Weatherstone College. She is professional and committed to seeking out the truth. While working as a reporter for the county newspaper, she covered a range of high profile assignments, including the infamous Greybolt Butcher case. Melissa maintains pride in her work, but is not afraid to cover any assignment, great or small as proven by her four years as a TV host for Fantastic Pets, a local program covering touching stories about pets and their owners. Melissa's mobile, her idle screen is currently set to a picture she took with the phone of a hand-drawn Mother's Day card from Bella. There are still three messages in memory. You have three saved messages. Oh my god. First message. Send July 30th, 6.13 p.m. Yo, Melissa, it's Saul. Looks like our trip to the land of the sushi is right around the corner. Are you ready to make another great show? Uh, listen, I have something I gotta get off my chest. But it can wait till we get back. Hey, maybe we can talk over dinner. All right. Well, I'll see you in a couple of days. Second message. Send July 31st, 9.28 p.m. Hey, Melissa. This is John Titer, the producer for Encounters. I was going to let you know that we found our scientist for the Japan episode. We didn't have much of a budget left after the travel arrangement, so he's no Ivy Leaguer, but I'm sure he'll do the trick. Throw a doctor on somebody's name and they sound all official, right? 
I told so already, but it's been arranged for you to meet at the airport after you land. So, uh, hey, have a nice trip. Third message. Send. August. First. Ten. Thirty-one. A.M. Oh, um, hi, Melissa. This is Sam, and, uh, I'm just trying to let you know that I'm going to take Bella on a trip with me. We'll be heading out soon. I, uh, I think it'll be good for her to get out and see more of the world, and this is the perfect chance. Please don't worry. I'm sure she'll have a great time, and, of course, everyone knows that it's safe. And Bella, Bella, wait. End of messages. Go. Sam Monroe's faculty ID. Matheson College, Professor of Cultural Anthropology. Sam Monroe. A pamphlet Sam made for a course he was planning to teach, cancelled, has been stamped on it with big red letters. Sam Monroe presents Sacrificing the Past, a Cultural Anthropology Seminar. Seats are still available, but please hurry to avoid missing this chance. Sam Monroe is the Matheson College Department of Anthropology's newest professor. He has previously served as a distinguished lecturer at Pine Grove Community College. He is an expert in the field of comparative religion and widely respected by his peers. Alright, now these weapon ones. Christ, there's a lot. Oh, I see. Okay, so you pick up stuff and you unlock... Oh, and, and there's something to read here. Just... Frying pan. Necessary tool in any cook's kitchen. This metal pan with shallow sides is perfect for searing as well as whacking people. Uh, light bladed weapon. A handheld farming tool for cutting grass or harvesting crops. A crescent shaped metal blade is affixed to a wooden handle. Heavy blunt weapon. A cylindrical metal tube designed for transporting water. Although galvanized, most of the coating is worn away and the pipe is rusty. Common digging tool with a curved metal blade attached to a long handle. It's also often used for scooping and mixing. A large glass bottle for storing and transporting Japanese sake. It can also be used to store other liquids such as juice or soy sauce. A steel trap used for hunting a variety of animals. A human who inadvertently steps into one of these will require time to break free. Alright, neat. Well, I guess I should pick up beer bottles and such to add to the collection. Um, but yeah, that's it. So far, yeah. Not not bad. Um, I I missed the like weird like imposing actors' faces over characters that they did in the last two games, but otherwise, yeah, it's working pretty nice. So the next episode will continue on and uh, see what happens. So until then, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.